Hello, my name is Marcin Gil. I'm working for Cloudfero and today I will show you how to create a Linux virtual machine and access it from Linux command line. First step is uh, go to Creodias EU site and login. I assume that you have already registered to Creodias. If not, please register first. And uh, if you have already registered, you can log in. I will use my test credentials. After logging in, I have access to various uh, pages on my uh, customer portal and one of them is your cloud environment where I can reach my uh, virtual resources, reach and create the new ones. So now I click on your cloud environment and I'm rather redirected to the page uh, called OpenStack Horizon. I have two choices. I can use either my credentials uh, which I used for uh, CreoDS and then just click connect when the menu Open ID Connect is chosen. Or I can choose uh, Keystone credentials. If I use Keystone credentials, I can uh, log in using my credentials which I got during registration. So now I will use my OpenID Connect credentials and click Connect. Here is the main uh, dashboard of OpenStack uh, uh, Horizon. It's, uh, it's OpenStack dashboard is called Horizon. Uh, the first place is Overview where I can see uh, my limitations. So, for instance, uh, this user has uh, access, to, uh, can create uh, 10 instances and use uh, 20 vCPUs and so on. And uh, here I am, uh, uh, I uh, have test project chosen. Uh, please be aware that you, uh, uh, when you register to CreoDS, you will uh, see uh, mainly these two projects, so cloud with R and cloud number of your domain and project without R. Here are some other projects that I created previously, but now I will stay at uh, this one, test project. Uh, if I want to create a new instance, I have to choose instances. Now, to uh, create new instance, uh, you need to uh, push the Launch Instance button and uh, give, it, give your new instance a name. So let's call it just Test. Now choose uh, the source. Uh, here are several options. Uh, one of them is to, to use image, uh, another is to use snapshots and volume and volume snapshots. I will now do the easiest way, so create uh, instance uh, from the image, from one of the images that are predefined in our environment. So I click on image. And I have also a uh, possibility to choose whether to create new volume or not. Uh, by default, this is no. It means that the new instance will have the uh, uh, system disk as defined in flavors. I will uh, show you in a moment. And if I click on yes, then I can choose my own size of system disk. Uh, there are some differences in functioning of such uh, virtual machines. And now we will concentrate on the first option, so it means that we will choose the create new volume, no. 
Now I can choose from any of these images, among them uh, are Windows uh, Server and uh, um, Ubuntu CentOS. Um, so let's now choose Ubuntu 18 LTS. When I click on the arrow, up arrow, the image will appear on the top. And now go to flavor. We can also use the next button here. So next it moves us to next uh, pane. In the pane flavor, we can choose uh, which, uh, uh, how big my our instance will be. So uh, how many VCPUs, how much RAM, and what, uh, how big a system disk. So let's uh, now uh, choose the small one. You one small. You can also uh, open it and see some details about this uh, instance. And uh, clicking on an arrow up arrow it moves uh, it gives us uh, the choice uh, and now we will move to networks pane in networks pane uh, we uh, in this example we can see two networks one is your data and one is private network external to Late, uh, a moment uh, a moment later I will explain in the private net what private network external to means uh, but uh, in uh, our case it means that if we want to have access to the uh, external network so um, access from the internet we need to choose one of the private networks and in, in, in our case we don't have much choice which are just have external to so we choose private network external too. And if you will want to have access to your data, so uh, satellite products on our virtual machine, then we should also choose this uh, network. So choose your data. And next step, network ports. Here we do not have to choose anything. This is more for some specialized cases. Uh, the next important case is security groups. Uh, by default, there is only one group. It's called default. And this group, allow ping SSH RDP, uh, uh, gives us possibility to uh, check the status of the machine by pinging it, accessing it by SSH or RDP. So uh, I will add this group as well. And uh, the last step is to add Keeper. If I click on Keeper, I can see that in our case, there is no Keeper uh, defined. So I have two choices. I can either uh, create Keeper from this dashboard or import Keeper from uh, somewhere else. So in our case, I will uh, do the first uh, option, so create keeper. So I click on create keeper. Of course, I can uh, I can uh, create a virtual machine without uh, making this keeper. However, without it, I will not have access from uh, in, in, by SSH. So let's uh, name it uh, private. Uh, sorry, uh, John Doe, uh, you can give any name you want. And if I click on Create Keeper, there will be two uh, keys created. One is private key and another is public key. So uh, public key will stay on um, in our uh, in our um, infrastructure, in, in cloud infrastructure, and private key we need to copy and uh, save on our uh, on our desktop. In our case, it will be Ubuntu desktop. So to copy it, I click on copy private key to keyboard. 
Now I open the text editor, paste the key uh, to the editor and save it. I choose uh, my, uh, the, my home ss.ssh uh, catalog directory. However, you can choose any place you want. This is by tradition, this .ssh uh, directory is used to uh, keeping uh, keys for uh, such purposes. So I give it a name. I call it John Doe Brief and save it. Now I go to the my terminal. Uh, I already uh, I'm already in my .ssh catalog. So when I um, uh, invoke the ls uh, command, I can see that my the key is already on my desktop. So now I'm, I'm coming uh, I'm coming back to um, uh, to the place where I created the key, and I click on done. And now the virtual machine is ready to be created with the keeper in uh, inside. Uh, sorry, the the public key inside the uh, the instance. And when I click on launch instance, uh, OpenStack will start creating the virtual machine. It will take a moment depending on how big the resources are. As you can see, uh, the uh, virtual machine has a name test, uh, is uh, based on Ubuntu 18.04 uh, image, has access to uh, two subnetworks. One is external to, another is EO data, and the flavor is EO one small, and the keeper is John Doe. Uh, now, uh, if we want to access this machine from outside world, we need to add uh, the floating IP because these are st only static IPs which are uh, private uh, in inside the infrastructure. So I open this menu and click on associate floating IP. And now I can either select from existing one. I already pre previously I created, I uh, um, allocated one floating IP. But if, uh, if it were not here, I can, ax uh, I can create or allocate the new one. So in our case, we would click on plus, choose, I can choose from uh, free networks. And this is historically uh, first external network is uh, already uh, most probably there are no floating IPs available. There are some in external too. And now uh, uh, most of the, float, uh, of the floating IPs available are in external free networks. However, I cannot uh, attach the um, uh, floating IPs from external free and external because uh, the private network is uh, external to. So I choose external to and click on allocate. If there are no uh, available floating IPs in, in uh, such subnetwork. Uh, I need to create a new subnetwork. This uh, can you can see in one of the tutorials on our web page. And so now, as you can see, I have two floating IPs already allocated to my project. I can choose one of them. And I need to assign this floating IP to uh, one of the uh, ports. And uh, I should choose the port of um, the private network and not the port of your data, because if I try to uh, add 
mm, floating IP to ports of your data, I will have error. So I choose the uh, this one and click on associate. Now the floating IP uh, has been attached to the virtual machine and I can uh, SSH to it using our my terminal, uh, this Linux terminal. So to do that, I need to uh, uh, copy this address, go to the uh, terminal and uh, invoke SSH. Uh, dash e for private uh, key john doe brief and uh, uh, your user is the default user used by our virtual machines uh, to connect uh, that is linux virtu virtual machines and paste the address and if I now click on enter, I can confirm. And I got the uh, message that permission denied. Uh, John Doe key, bad uh, permissions. This means that uh, be this is because the private key needs to have uh, uh, more limited permissions than normal files. So if I uh, if I uh, uh, ls on on the, the files, I can see that these are the permissions on John Doe uh, brief key, and I need to change them. So change mode and give it 600 and now as you can see I changed the permissions for for this file and I can now SSH to this uh, virtual machine and now as you can see I have already logged into the test uh, virtual machine I can cd to EO data and ls the catalogs uh, which are uh, having access to uh, uh, to satellite products uh, in our repositories. So this is generally it. Of course, uh, there are many. Ver uh, varieties of um, creating the virtual machines so you can add some volumes and uh, create some sub networks I will show you um, the other way to access the virtual machine you can do it from the uh, browser from OpenStack console so if I click on console I can uh, now login using another user this is called eo console not eo user and now i have to uh, add uh, my own password and confirm it and after that i'm already logged in so I can also uh, access the EO data, for instance, or do anything with the virtual machine by CD EO data and LSAL. So this is another way to access the uh, EO data, uh, to access the virtual machine. Uh, this uh, console, it's called Spice. Uh, is uh, rather difficult to use uh, for daily purpose so we advise to use rather access by SSH because you cannot for instance copy and paste to, to this console this is just for uh, in fact for emergency or some additional um, uh, operations that you would like to do 
uh, if you for instance lose access by SSH and one uh, thing uh, additional thing I would like to show you the network topology so if I click on toggle labels I can see that my test virtual machine is connected to two subnetworks private network external 2 and your data and private network external 2 is uh, connected to router external 2 and this is connected to to the external 2 uh, which means that uh, this is access to internet and uh, there are two other um, subnetworks external and external 3 which are not used in in our case Thank you very much for attention and uh, I hope this was, uh, uh, this was uh, understandable for you. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, we ca you can access uh, any additional information on our Creodias page, uh, either looking for knowledge base, so you can search here, or click on Docs and this uh, directs you to uh, some additional information especially frequently asked questions which are divided into various groups and you can check um, some more information how to uh, manage your virtual resources how to manage uh, the billing and uh, accessing the uh, volumes of uh, and uh, accessing uh, your data products thank you very much